spirit scholars. So I just literally just saw um, fire truck, ambulance taking off. Look like an older person um, out on a stretcher. Now the person's face was showing, so they were still in the land of the living. But it's 8:32 a.m. and this person is going out on a stretcher. And I'm sure they don't live alone because where I am, the houses are really big. So um, I wouldn't think that somebody that was of the age that I saw on that person's face um, and with the whiteness of their hair um, in a house that big, it, it wouldn't be common that they would live alone. I'm sure whoever they live with are just very burdened right now. You figure it's 8.33, it's a.m., it's time to go to work, right? For whoever lives in that house. It's time to do something other than call the ambulance and be perhaps worried about a loved one, okay? Prayers, best thoughts for that family for sure make that your thought to be grateful today it's not you that's in that stretcher you know it's not you that has to make that call it's not you that has to um be spending your whole day concerned about a loved one or just altering your day because you may have to go you may have to go to the hospital most likely you will to go see about the care of that person you know, maybe this this person that had to call, that is their full-time job, you know, um, as caretaker. And that is a hard job, okay? And so even if that's not you in the stretch or that's not you that um, had to make that call, you know, again, if it's not, be grateful. Realize that you have the blessed opportunity if you're a caretaker to um, help someone in the journey of their what could be their final days if you are that person on the stretcher you're still in the land of the living and if this is where you want to be well there's still work for you to do well, as I said before it may not be too late but make sure you don't wait all right so I just wanted to share that because that was striking here it is 8 35 now and <laughs> you know somebody's being coming out on a stretcher and it's like, wow, you know, um, if you don't have another reason to be grateful, I'm not sure what else you want. Because I know the grand majority of people that's watching me on this video are not on stretchers right now, are not on their way to the hospital. <laughs> okay. Uh, but again, if you are in the hospital, because I doubt very seriously, if you are on a stretcher watching YouTube, okay, you really need to be grateful because you ain't that bad off. But if you're in the hospital and you're watching this, then you're still here. And that means there's still something for you to do. Something for you to do. And so you know more than the next person that you don't need to be taking time for granted. So get on it and start with being grateful. All right, Spirit Scholars. I want to remind you that you are loved because indeed you are. And I also want to let you know that I'm coming at you with the joy that brings me strength and the gratitude. Abundant love, beloveds.